Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Up today on the channel, we are gonna be looking at some market stuff related around the guaranteed uh, League One SBC. I would like to have some packs for you guys to open today, but I've done a few of them already. I've gotten Verratti. You can tell the TOTS number has gone up by one. Um, and we'll talk about a little bit of that stuff too. It's gonna to be like a market talk video, but we're gonna focus on that SBC first of all, because I think there's some interesting things that we can get from this. Based off of what I've seen so far from these cards, they like to move a lot. These League One TOTS cards like to fluctuate a lot. I mean, Neymar today um, on PS was like 6.3 million coins at one point. He's 6.5 right now, 7.3 on the Xbox. And if you look at his price throughout the day today, he's kind of been dropping. He actually hit 6.8 at one point earlier today. So he's up like 500K. That's just how these cards are going to fluctuate when they're super rare, especially this card. Um, but like as we have seen happen in the past couple of weeks with these cards, these are probably going to go up in price in the coming days because of um, uh, just especially today into tomorrow, people buying these cards after the SBC and they're going to rise up in price because people think they're gonna pack them in the guaranteed TOTS SBC, but you know, likely is they're not. And then instead, they, these people go out and buy those cards right back. So you see some panic selling the day before, the night before, and even the morning of before the SBC. And then those uh, those those cards do go back up, oh, excuse me, do kind of go back up in price and they rebound after that. So right now on Bappe 4.7, Neymar at 7-3. Even the guys, some of the guys that are going to have the best rebound potential are going to be some of these middle tier guys like Lala at 560, Marquinhos at 450, Savonier 172. Like that's a card that I don't see people packing a lot, but it is a very nice card. A, lot, a card that a lot of people are going to want to try as a CDM. 150 was his lowest point earlier today. So he's been down there. Pepe as well at 1.5. Di Maria is one that fluctuates a lot. He was at 450 earlier today. 470 right now. If that hits 450 again, I'm probably a buyer because that is the cheapest tots that is like a direct link between Neymar. If you're gonna if you're gonna start and play him up top, Di Maria, Neymar, and Mbappe, those are kind of kind of your guys that you're gonna throw throw up top for that one. Some other cards that you could see rebound, uh, Thiago Silva and Marquinhos. They're basically very similarly priced, but I think you're gonna see Marquinhos rebound a little bit more than what a Thiago Silva would just because of his uh, extra pace. He's got the extra pace. His defending stats might not be as good, but he was down here at 420K earlier today. Um, he was actually 400. Let's go back to the Xbox and scroll through the concept squad. This is this kind of stuff that you're going to be want to be watching for uh, today. 420K is what he was at. looks like he's 460, 470. He's six foot. Let's compare these two a little bit. He's got 99 jumping. Oh yeah. What's Thiago Silva? He's six foot as well. He's got 99 jumping as well. I think more people are going to go for the Marquinhos though because he's he's got that um, the pace that Thiago Silva does not, even though Thiago Silva has a little bit. Actually, he has less defense. So Marquinhos is for sure the one that people are going to go after. And this Lala card as well, people are going to use. Pepe probably. Cavani as well. I mean, you look at this Cavani card. He's got some insane stats. That they got 99s everywhere. Um, and the Furline Mendy card as well. So you're gonna see a lot of these cards rebound, um, but the timing is key here. Furline Mendy, 518, that interests me as well. French left back on the left side, 536. It's kind of interesting how both of these left backs are like 500,000 coins for the Lala and the, the um, Furline Mendy. Also, CDM Thiago Mendez is interesting to me. Brazilian card, very good. Kind of the same thing as Sabanier here. He dropped off heavily today, 320. If you see this card around 300,000 coins on either console, um, right around 300K on either console tomorrow morning, that's one I think you can pick up. He's easily linkable, like to a Neymar. You get a nice green link there. A lot of people use Neymar or any of the Brazilians. Uh, same thing with the Sabanier. That's why I like him uh, with his French rating. So, Keep watching these cards. You don't have to worry about these lower rated guys. You know, tomorrow or today, who's going to be packing these guys? Everybody's going to have Kazri, Delort, Magnan, Atal, Bamba. I just opened 45 upgrade packs on Twitch on a live stream. My link, if you want to watch, to catch me on those streams is down below in the description. But I just opened 45 packs on a live stream. We got three Jose Fontes and three 
my nons. We packed six team of the season cards, three of each of those two. That's the only tots that we packed the entire pack opening. It was disgraceful. So I don't expect anything different tomorrow. Everybody's going to be packing those same cards um, from, from the guaranteed SBC, but um, we can at least trade around it a little bit. If we look at some of these other special card prices, a lot of people have been asking me, yo, when is the time to buy for Ultimate Tots? Um, and to that I would say, well, first off, I'm going to buy this. I'm going to bin this Hugo Lloris. I'm, I'm adding to my stash of those for weekend league flipping this weekend. Um, but Ultimate Tots is coming up, and you're already seeing a lot of cards kind of being, not panic sold, but people are starting to sell in advance. You see some of these cards that are dropping. Um, some of the higher rated, oh my god. Gosh, again, doozy, 190,000 coins. And a lot of these other special cards have dropped recently as well, just because there's other um, other options out there. You know, these new TOTS cards, you have a, a guy like Savonier coming in to this to this team, 172K, he's got better stats than Ganduzi. And obviously that's gonna make that card uh, drop a little bit in price. Now, I think one thing that I shouted to you guys last week, and this was kind of an obvious call, Mbappe is 87 rated card. What is he chilling at right now? Let's look around the market here a little bit. 80,000 coins about, something like that. Yeah, right around 80,000 coins. So I bought all mine for 65. So he is up, but we wait for this next Thursday and rewards to push that stuff up to the next level. We'll be watching that um, for sure. But um, again, with the upgrade packs, I want to start talking about that. And you might see me, I'm going to see if I have any in the club here that I could do really quick while I'm talking about it any players. A lot of people have been saying that these packs are very expensive. Well, they are absolutely correct. If we go and take a look at the active challenges on Footbin right now, if I can get to that page, the 81 plus pack is 35,000 coins to complete. 35k. Disgraceful. Way too expensive in my opinion. The other one down here is 9,000 coins. You can actually do it for seven. You, go, you can go buy the rare cards for 7,000 coins, uh, excuse me, the non-rares, for like 700 coins, and do 11 of them do for 7,000, you know, 7,700 coins. That's how you can do this SBC for cheaper. And yes, it does take more time. It takes more time to grind these when you're doing the non-rares. Um, and they don't have to be of any certain league or nation. They can be of any league or nation, rare or non-rare. So I'm just going buying cards for 700 coins. You can definitely do that. Um, but, I feel like that's the best way to do it just because you're spending only 7,000 coins a pack. You can do four of those packs for what you do one of the 81 plus four, and you still get a rare card in that pack. And there's plenty of cards in this team of the season that have base cards that are non-rare. So you still have a pretty good chance of packing a TOTS. In fact, I've seen plenty of people who have packed team of the seasons um, the, the today, like I've seen guys get Mbappe. I've seen guys get Neymar from some of these team of the season packs, um, like the lower level ones, which is crazy to think about, but it's happening and uh, it, it is going on right now. That's why I'm doing the packs in this manner. You see me kind of looking through my club to find any of these non-rare golds, which I probably don't have many more of. Nope. I used about all of them in the last little bit that I did, but I think this is the kind of the way to do it. The easiest way to buy these cards as well is to just go to the market, go by nationality because it's easy to get chem that way. Go by nationality, go gold, we'll go gold, we'll go nationality, let's go, uh, we won't go French, we'll go England. Max buy it now, 700 coins. You just go in here and you start mass buying these cards. You, well, you buy more at a time than just one misclick there but just go and mass buy these cards for 700 coins butlin boom 700 coins jackie elka and then kind of just remember who you bought all right i don't want to get any duplicates i don't want to buy two defoes i see a couple defoes back here i just want to buy one of them so there's a stevens that expired this andre gray might be still up yep take a look back here are there any cards it's not worth looking basically just do that go by nation swing through 700 coins a pop you know, I just got six cards right there. I'm gonna switch nations. That wasn't really enough cards. Let me go to let me go to Germany. Got a lot from Germany. 700 coins. Wow, people are doing. People are buying these. But you can basically buy these cards up. Boom, 650 coins. 550. That one's probably gone. 
buy those coins up for cards up for 700 coins a piece and you're good to go you can go craft those packs for 7,000 coins it's not too expensive in my book especially at the end of the year just now when all we're worried about is doing packs all we want to do is packs open packs and all that kind of stuff so i think that's kind of the move for doing these packs i'll do a few here right at the end for you guys um, because i know the packs are awesome we all want to see packs so there's a couple cards i can throw in the club and we'll go do a couple of these packs really quick but i wanted to talk to you guys about that because a lot of people are asking yo how do i do these upgrade packs like what is the best way to do it because they're so expensive and they are they're just ridiculously expensive right now and it's just because of the lack of rare cards in the league one so if you think that these packs are unreasonable for you to do um i would say think again because i think you can go in here and get these cards for 700k a piece filter through some of the nationalities oh we got a lot of adairs here that's kind of a pain to, to sort through um but filter through the nationalities or the leagues you can look at some of the lower leagues as well league and nos um super league and then go through the main leagues as well and you can get some decent packs let me go let me go put these together really fast and uh, we'll go from there. So then basically what you can do after you craft a bunch of these lower level packs. So we're just going to search by newest players in the club, quality gold. After you craft a bunch of these lower level packs, you can go back in using your rare cards from the League One. And uh, you can create yourself a nice little, uh, a little, um, I don't know, we call it a refresh. Or you can use those cards to craft the 81 plus SBC. So that's a very feasible thing you can do as well. Um, that's something that I'm definitely gonna do from these packs, but I just need to keep opening enough of them so I can get enough players to do that. It looks like we're gonna have enough for three packs here. Boom, uh, left back, striker, cam, left wing. There we go, get some chemistry going up in here. There it is. That is enough chemistry right there. So we have three packs. I'll open these packs really quick and we'll call that the end of the video. Um, but again, I think that's the best way to look at these cards. And the, the chances of me getting a walk out here are pretty slim. I did 40 of these packs earlier tonight on stream and I didn't get a, I got one TOTS card. That was the only walk out that I got. So it is possible to not get a lot of cards from this SBC, to not get a lot of you know, good blue or high rated pulls, but you're still gonna get those 83s, the 84s, and the rare cards that you need to craft the 81 plus. So this does take more time, but I think it's a more cost effective way of doing it. And I think you're seeing a lot of other people do it this way as well. One other thing you can do is bid on cards. I would kind of talk to you guys and make sure you, you, you look at that option as well. You can bid on these cards, just go again by nationality um, and then stack them up. Just do stack a bunch of these packs, open them up, and have fun going hard with these cards. I know I just quick sold a rare. I honestly don't care because that I have one untradeable in the club. But if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. If you uh, are going to be buying into some of the hype for the League One Tots SBC, um, that is a great opportunity to, to probably make some coins. Focus on the more meta guys as well, the guys that people can easily insert into their teams. And of course, if you're somebody who's going after a Neymar or an Mbappe, this is probably going to be the lowest time in the hours before the SBC will probably be the lowest time that these cards will be on the market for the entire week. But I will say they are gonna be an ultimate tots next week, so they would have a chance to go lower. So I would caution you guys, if you wanna use them, um, maybe just wait, maybe buy them tomorrow morning before the SBC or this morning when this video goes live, buy them when the SBC comes out and then maybe try to sell them on Thursday after rewards and um, cash out, get your coins back because they could go lower for ultimate tots um, coming this next week. Also, make sure you tweet me. That link is down below if you need to find my Twitter. Make sure you tweet me your packs, stuff that you're getting from these upgrade packs. Some people are getting sick stuff, just not me yet. We're working on it. All right, boys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the thumbs up if you did. Comment down below if you have any questions, as always. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.